We're also proud to welcome Steve as the newest member of our family and couldn't be more pleased that he and Kelly found each other that fateful New Year's Eve just a few blocks from here. Our entire family welcomes Steve with open arms from day one. He's a very special guy and you did a great job. As for Kelly, our baby girl, this is the tough part. <laughs> I might have to skip it. <laughs> um, no, I was just going to say, what can a proud father say to properly convey the many years of memories? <laughs> that we share as a family and the anticipation we have for many more to come. To see her so happy to have found Steve means everything to us. So, in the spirit of family and friends, I ask you all to raise your glasses high to Kelly and Steve. May you have a wonderful life together, and may you forever be blessed with a loving family and loyal friends. Um, but one of the great things about their relationship that I think we can all take in today is the amount of sacrifice that they've given to each other in the short period of time. When uh, Mr. Vance talked tonight, you, talk, you could see how heartfelt family meant. She left Arizona to move with him in Chicago. And then she took him away from us and he moved to Arizona. I mean, that's a big, big, big time for both of them to leave the ones that they love behind to spend time together. Um, so that's something that I think about, just the amount of sacrifice that they've given to each other to make this relationship work. Dear Lord, uh, as we uh, prepare for this day, just help us to remember you know, how much you love us and how much we love each other. Please bless this day, bless our marriage. Uh, we're thankful for everything that you've done for us. Um, we're just, just so thankful and so blessed for, for everything. In the name we pray, amen. I, Stephen, take you, Kelly, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Kelly, take you, Stephen, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before God and the church. The Lord and his goodness strengthen your consent. Fill both of you with many, many blessings. What God now joins together, no human being can ever divide.
amazing how their relationship started. Steve living in Milwaukee and Kelly in Arizona. After they met, what was it, 10, 12 months? You guys lived apart. You built a new, a new relationship all on Skype. At first, I didn't believe it. I thought Kelly was just a catfish. You know, <laughs> the term for having a fake online relationship, kind of like Manti Teo. Anybody knows that reference? <laughs> I thought Steve was just pulling my leg, but I was proved wrong. Not a catfish. Kelly actually exists. So hats off to you two. God truly meant for you two to be together. No matter what life brings, if it's you and me, we're ready for anything. Watching the clouds go by in our time. I know we're gonna fall down Hold my hand and we'll get up I know we're gonna make it somehow if it, it was uh, January 2011 and we were at the, in the living room. Kelly had just gotten back from a trip from Wisconsin and we were all sitting around talking, asking her how her trip was and she just came back and she was telling us that what a wonderful New Year's Eve she, she had had and that she had found the man that she was gonna marry. And my husband and I look at each other like, no way, how is that gonna work? Kelly's in Arizona and Steve is um, here in Wisconsin. Um, but sure enough, a couple months later, Steve came uh, to visit and right away I knew this was a very special man. He had met all the criteria that Kelly was looking for. He was tall, funny, from Wisconsin, laid back, and most of all, he could handle the sometimes difficult Kelly Vance. So right away, we welcome him with open arms and um, we're so excited to have him in the family. I know we all look for um, the true lasting love, um, a love like we've seen our parents have, Terry and Judy. And I'm just so happy that you guys have found it. And I wish you a lifetime of joy and happiness. And I'm so excited for all the new memories we're gonna have together. Welcome to the family, Steve. I love you, Kelly. We're ready for anything. Watching the clouds go by in our time. Anyway, this is the last thing I promise. Um, KV, if you ever want him to do anything, okay, he, he's being lazy, all you need to do is chant. Here's some chants that we've done for him. 
We went maybe out on a Friday, Saturday night, and we were hungry the next day. And all we had to say is, Puma, butter burgers, butter burgers, butter burgers, butter burgers. And eventually you chant enough, and he's like, fine, I'll go to Culver's and get butter burgers. <laughs> We've also done Puma, make some drinks. Puma, make some drinks. Puma, make some drinks. And then I'll go to the kitchen and I'll be like, okay, I'll make some drinks and I'll get all excited. So you can say, you can say, Puma, do the dishes. Puma, do the dishes. Puma, do the dishes. So I think one, you're gonna try to hard. You're gonna try to resist me. But if we could get this whole awesome room together, and all I wanna say is, we'll start out quiet. Everyone's gotta do it. Puma, kiss your wife. Puma. Try not to do it. Try it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Puma. Puma, kiss your wife. Puma, kiss your wife. Puma, kiss your wife. Puma. Louder. Give it up.